and flop and flop and pant. Today's newsreel is brought to you by Montgomery Brothers Corporation, makers of Montgomery Brothers Hard Candies, the hottest candies in the world, and cigarettes. Nothing feels refreshing as the Montgomery Brothers cigarette. Gold Pony sold at auction for two million in US currency, making it the most expensive object ever sold. The legend of this fabled item begins in 976 AD in the ruthless time of the desert people. The most notorious of them all, Kubla Khan, a vicious one-eyed warrior who stood over seven feet tall and oozed magma. This villain conquered many lands and defeated great armies under insurmountable odds. But historians speculate he could not have accomplished these feats without the help of his Arabian stallion known simply as Mike. After the battles of the Caspian Sea, Kubla and Mike returned to Mongolia where they were revered as gods. The Mongolian people bronzed the horse's head, then would later frame it after frames were invented. Khan's empire would eventually crumble, and the whereabouts of this artifact would go lost in the sands of the Gobi Desert. Flash forward 900 years to the time of science and man. The Billionaires Club, a fringe group of movers and shakers in the Republican Party, assembled an excavation team, mostly comprised of minorities and women, to recover the gold statue of Mike. Their journey would take them 50,000 miles across the world into the vast expanses of the Gobi Desert. It wouldn't be easy. Surprisingly, they found the sought-after artifact within only a few hours. I found a pony! The golden pony of Kublai Khan! Then it was off to auction at Cambridge, Massachusetts, where the world's finest and foremost came to bid on the horse. Look, there's Mitch Gravels! But in the end, it would be High Society's very own Dr. Ferdinand Stradler who came away with the $2 million prize. So how are the Billionaires Club boys going to spend all that money? Just making sure their boy Taft gets re-elected. It's capitalism on the march! Stand by. I'll tell you if you want to run it again. Well, how about it, Mr. Bronson? Seventy years in a man's life is a lot to fit into a newsreel. Everybody knows Stradler bought the pony of Kublai Khan. I need to know more. He was a member of the Billionaires Club, and he went on adventures and expeditions from the highest peaks in the Himalayas to the muddy banks of the Amazon. Yes, yes! More. The man has got the secrets that he hides like Easter eggs. I once heard he made his entire family eat brains. I heard he invented a device that could transport people into alternate dimensions. He was also a founder of the Sport the Troops Ribbon Scheme. That's right. Rumor has it, he was also the brains behind the electric president scandal. No! He sailed around the world and back. Now well, you've got some stories, Ralph. You're right on track. But you see the key, Ralph. The key to all of this is to figure out what his last words meant. Now, what were his last words? Oopal flopping stomping pants. Oopal flopping stomping pants. Oopal flopping stomping pants.